Hello guys, uh, this is Pablo Bolivar and uh, I'm gonna show you um, one of my tracks, uh, my, lat my latest tracks, it's called All Clear, it's uh, released this two weeks ago on, uh, on Culprit, uh, Culprit LA, so this is the title track and it's uh, one of my favorites of the, of the EP. So I want to show you all the parts I uh, I create the the drum parts the melodic parts how I record it and uh, yeah let's start uh, it's um, the main synth in uh, in in this uh, track I I start with this recording from from the from the prophet from the prophet six uh, is this this uh, Stop or melody, how you wanna call it? It's very mellow, and it's coming up with the open the opening the cutoff and yeah. This was the the base of the track. I mean the the the, the, the first sound I create uh, and with this. When I have this kind of uh, melodies, then I can start because I feel comfortable with the track. You know, with the, when the, the, there is a deep uh, sound, and uh, yeah, the second part I create, I was uh, jamming around the studio. Uh, I remember it was the the arpeggio. It was created with um, was created with the prophet as well, and it. Took me a long time to create this this uh, arpeggio, to configure it on the on the synth. So here it is. It's very dreamy. Both melody together, uh, they play really good. Yes. Uh, another melodic part uh, from this arpeggio, I extract uh, a little loop you see here, and it's kind of this sequence. And it repeats. It's loopy and it gives a very fine groove to the to the track. Yes. So there is another melody part. It's created also with the prophet. This track, almost all the EP on Culprit is uh, it's created with uh, with the analog rhythm and with the prophet 6 and some extra samples but basically is all this this just these two synthesizers uh, this other part is uh, it's kind of a, a, an atmospheric string no string like a synthesizer like a vintage sci-fi movie like uh, 80s sci-fi very it's very spooky So all this is the well, also the there is a string is coming out from uh, the mini book from Arturia. It's a basic string, just one note to to create tension to the to the track. These are some sketches from. Uh, uh, I use the application on on the iPad when I travel around when I am when I am in the on the on the plane. When I have free time traveling, I I do sketches with uh, with an application called uh, Korg Gadget on the iPad, and this is one of the sounds I record. It is it is like a stab. 
like a chord, a dub chord, like that I cut the low frequencies, I put a super long delay and a super long reverb. This chain is it's very techy. Also, another sound I record from the Korg gadget from the iPad is this uh, this acid uh, bass line. It's kind of it's very nice. Sounds sounds cool. Yeah, it it gives very nice groove to the track. You will see later with with all the sound. Uh, yeah, so this is the melodic uh, parts, the melodic uh, harmonies and melodies. And the uh, drum parts are, uh, well, yeah, uh, kick drum basically, like, uh, it's a dance track, so it's a uh, four, four, four to four uh, kick drum, so very basic. I, I, I put a little bit up the high frequencies to give some dirty sound to the to the to the sample. The second is a tom sequence. It's a, the drum rack with the four uh, different toms, and I made this sequence. This one, this sequence of uh, three of the of the four toms. So it's uh, very basic but groovy. With the kick drum, it makes like a tribal feeling. I like it. Then I used uh, normally I do uh, for claps or snares. I used to to put three two claps to do it more more natural. Not not just one clap. You know, it's uh, I I used to do it uh, to do it more. Kind of with a little bit of stream between them, you see. Here on the next track we have the drive. It's a basic drive, drive from uh, hi hat drive from from the analog rhythm. See this one with a panoramic. This is a sample I record from a, a vinyl I really like, uh, I have in my childhood, uh, my homeland. Uh, it's, a, it's a record label called Bush, and it was a, a double LP, but I don't remember the, the, the name. Is I don't remember, it's, it, was, it, it is uh, red and white, but I will tell you if you ask. Uh, yeah, it's a short sample from the from the bass you see if i take off the the bass line the bass frequency it's okay it's, it's just a, a, what i need is the, the the mid frequencies and the, the high frequencies so yeah uh the next track is um yeah, it's a drum rack uh, sequence for the hi-hats and uh, uh, shakers with my personal stereo uh, image that for 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 the hi hats that you you can it's very panoramic and it's on a second sequence yeah another hi hat sequence here is the ride. From analog rhythm is a combination of a uh, close hat and open hat, open right. Yeah, and this is it. So we have the the drum parts here and the melodic parts down down the track. Also, this track is uh, you can you can difference uh, two parts no? so the the first part of the track all this part is kind of the the the, the heating uh, the warm-up of the of the track no it's something it's happening it's something it's cooking and then in the, in the middle is there is a big change and the claps appear and then the 
the new melodies with the with this tap and the bass, the the acid bass and some voices. Uh, yeah, you see, you will see it. <laughs> different than the beginning, different, different mood, more clubby, more for the floor, for the dance floor. This is uh, all clear. My new track on Culprit uh, LA. I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, explaining of how I did it. And let's keep in touch. Let's keep connected. Bye bye. Have fun and take care.